Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. We have a story here about dear Ross Greer. He, of course, is what I like to call the used tampon of Scottish politics. He's come out and he's trying to make it a good thing. He's trying to look wonderful and brilliant by the fact that he's saying that more and more public sector workers are only working four day weeks instead of five, but they are getting the same amount of money. So presumably they were massively underemployed previously. If they can do the same amount of work in four days as they could in five, they were probably paid 20% too much. Let's cut their pay. Let's make it more reflective of the work they're actually doing. He won't see that, of course. He's too stupid. But he thinks it's a good thing when people out there needing services can't get hold of anyone. What an idiot he truly is. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with a four-day week. But let's go four-day week is being longer days so you get the same amount of work done. You can't possibly do the same amount of work in four days as you can in five. Ten hour days, everyone. Let's have a look. Here goes. So Tofu Boy crows about more public sector workers getting a four day week with the same pay. So effectively, a 25% pay rise. If you're only working five days, sorry, four days, and you're getting a fifth day work, you know, you're getting one extra day. Well, a quarter, that's a quarter of a week, isn't it? So it's a 25% pay rise, effectively. Money for nothing. Now, if it took you a week to do that work and you're doing now only four days, it means that there must have been a lot of work that you weren't doing. You must have been sitting around, scratching your ass, not actually working. And you can imagine that the same amount of ass scratching will occur in the four day week. So the productivity will undoubtedly drop. And he thinks this is a good idea. Effective pay rise, less work, everything's great. This is why you don't let people into positions of power who are uneducated, inexperienced, have never had a real job in their life. But then he's got to try and justify his very position, hasn't he? I've got to do something. I've got to keep my name in the papers. Otherwise, people forget who I am. I'm over here, mummy. You know, because she's probably the only person who could possibly love this strange ginger twiglet of a man. More public sector bodies in Scotland are to be offered the chance to join a pilot scheme for a four day working week with no loss of pay, potentially opening it up to thousands of staff. The expansion, the expansion of the scheme was announced by the Economy Secretary Neil Gray and hailed by Scottish Green MSP Ross Greer as the delivery of another Green Manifesto commitment. Yes, the reduction of, of productivity, cutting productivity in an economy that is desperate to grow, that needs desperately to expand, to increase productivity, to increase employment. And he thinks it's a good idea to shrink the economy and have people doing less work. But who's paying? The public. Taxpayers are paying for less work. Same amount of wages, less work. It's an effective pay rise for these people. Why? Because the thing is now, if they're getting that money, it means their effective hourly rate has increased. Now, if their hourly rate is increased there and if someone else wants to come in and do it and they want a five day week, they've got to be paid the same hourly rate as everyone else. These guys will be creaming it. Or if they go back to the five day week, they'll say, yes, 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 but our hourly rate was this. We want the same hourly rate. They won't go back and do an extra day for no money. Why are these idiots put into positions where they can even allow to make decisions like this? They are all incredibly stupid people. The expansion of the scheme was announced by the Economy Secretary Neil Gray and held by him. Um, the Scottish Government pilot was launched in October when 141 civil servants at the south of Scotland Enterprise switched to a four day week, working 32 hours. So three hours less than their previous contracts for the same money. Cut the hours, you cut the money. Ministers have now signed a deal with research firm Autonomy, which has previously worked with the Icelandic government and the regional government in Valencia in Spain on similar schemes. To prepare a report on the progress, it will also monitor those organisations which make the switch. We are effectively giving every civil servant three hours money for nothing. Nothing. Here's money for nothing. Wouldn't that, all that extra money, that three hours per civil servant, 
tens, hundreds, who knows, hundreds of thousands of pounds a week, be better spent clawing it back and spending it on the uh, NHS. No, they just want to give civil servants an effective massive pay rise. And of course the civil servants then won't have the need to go into towns and city centres and things where they work and so those will have reduced footfall, that will put some businesses right up against the wall because they're not getting the passing trade and so on. But Ross Greer doesn't see this because Ross Greer is, and I, I don't like to swear on this one, but I, can, I can't think of a better word. He's a fuckwit. He literally has not got the wit that he was born with. I think the mother must have thrown away the baby and kept the afterbirth because that is how intelligent this man is. Mr. Gray, Neil Gray, said the south of England, oh, the south of England, get me, the south of Scotland, I'll start again. Mr. Gray said the South of Scotland Enterprise four day working week Pathfinder work is being folded into autonomy's methodology and engagement will continue with other public bodies interested in participating in the 32 hour working week pilot. And I don't mind. Give them 32 hours. Pay them 32 hours. Cut that money from their salary. They can have the saving of the day because they're not having to travel in and out of work, but they don't get paid for it. Autonomy will also provide support and evaluate organisations moving to a contractual 35-hour working week. This will capture valuable insights from a wider range of public bodies on different shorter work week models and be included in the four-day working week evaluation report. Again, if you want that, pay them for the work they're doing. Don't pay them money for nothing. This is a ridiculous idea. This is public money being wasted and wanked away so Ross Greer can look virtuous as he stands there going, oh look at we, look at me, look at me. I am destroying the economy by reducing productivity. What an absolute arsehole. He really is. Of course he's really only got one job in politics hasn't he? He's the friend of Patrick Harvey. That's all he's there for. Patrick Harvey's friend. He's neither useful nor ornamental. He's the most chicken nugget man I have ever seen. He's made of 99% tofu with a dish mop on the top of his head. And it, <laughs> Name one thing he's done that's beneficial. Nothing. Nothing. And this, this is even worse because not only is it not beneficial, it's destructive. But you can't tell him. Please stop voting for absolute morons like Gross Rear. And let's just flush this tampon down the toilet and get rid of them all. They are absolutely useless. These guys get their four day week. They aren't going back to five days. It's a pilot. Yeah, which means it's in though. Because the moment they cancel a pilot, say, oh, you will go back to work for five days. They'll all say no, or they'll want a massive pay rise for doing it. You really have opened up a can of worms, you sad, sad sack of complete bull baggery. Anyway, I'm not going to get angry. I am going to come up. He is, though, isn't he? He's just a knob. Knob, that's him. Ross Greer, the tiny knob. Coming up. Someone sat down and worked all this out and said, yeah, 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 we're cutting their hours. What we do about their pay? Oh, we better not cut their pay. You know, and they've made that decision. Yes, but that means they're getting money for nothing. Yeah, but it's okay. It's the public's money. It's not coming out of our money, is it? P taxpayers are paying for it. Taxpayers, they'll pay for anything because they're stupid. Taxpayers need to let these people know we're not stupid and we're not paying 35 hours money for 32 hours work. Would you pay your employee 35 hours mo money for 32 hours work? Or would you tell him on your bike, son, you owe me three hours? It's ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I will speak to you later. Bye.